this is one of the more common vessels that is injected uh, and causes vascular occlusion. Here's a cross section of the angular artery, which is the continuation of the facial artery after it gives a branch of the superior labial artery. So in this area, it measures about 3.125 millimeters deep. So that's pretty superficial. But you see that there's a, a plane below and a plane above for your injection. So you have to decide which, you just don't want to be in the middle where that vessel is. So now let's go a little bit uh, inferior and look at the superior labial artery. It's usually deep to the orbicularis oris muscle, as you can see in this uh, visualization right here. And so you want to put your injection superficial to the orbicularis oris muscle. So here's the um, artery. And then just superficial to that, the hypoechoic area, is the orbicularis oris muscle. And in this patient, it's 4.7 millimeters deep.